Now, where are you from? Well, originally I was born in um, Pleasanton, California, so the Bay Area, but I grew up in a split home. So my mom was in Modesto, and then that's like the Valley, and then my dad was in Oakland. So I kind of grew up in both areas. Now let's talk about growing up. Um, awesome. What type of student were you in school? Let's take it back for a little bit. <laughs> I was a pretty good student. Um, my mom was pretty strict, and I liked sports a lot. So in order to play sports, you had to have good grades. So I had some pretty good grades. Um, other other than like schoolwork, popularity type thing, um, I got in a lot of altercations. <laughs> Fighting. Yeah. yeah. You were the aggressive. I the wasn't. Person? I wasn't. You know, being mixed, you um, you don't quite. You got a little too much swag, a little too much urban to be, you know, hanging with with the white folks, and then the you know the black girls didn't like you because you you know were light skin and had cute hair, so um, everybody kind of thought I wanted their boyfriends and things like that, and jealousies and I had a lot of altercations so now, wasn't so aggressive though. Now so you were defending yourself. Of course. So uh, somebody watching this growing up mm -hmm. with a similar mixed right. ethnicity what would be your advice you know if you could give somebody some advice in school about your age? About um, that time? Make your own group don't try to fit in um, stay focused and don't just do school do some type of extracurricular activity don't have a lot of time on your hands less time you have on your hands as a child the more trouble you stay out of. You uh, graduated high school? I did. College? I didn't. I took college courses while I was in high school. I was ahead of my credits. I was pretty smart. So. But you didn't attend? No, uh-uh. Why not? I, you know what? I got into dancing at an early age, and then um, I kind of did a little bit of investigation and things that I was interested in, and uh, a, lo a, lot of, uh, a lot of careers. I've already made the same amount of money, so it didn't make sense for me. Now, jobs you had growing up, if yeah. any? Uh, I had a lot. I actually uh, had my first job was a dance teacher at the age of 14. And um, then that pursued into working at a aviation, a flight school. So um, I took a couple lessons. I kind of know how to fly a little bit. And then it moved on to, you know, dancing was always there, but it started off as go-go dancing and then stripping. And then from there, I just kind of blew up. I was pretty good at it. Now, any crazy stories dealing with any of those jobs you had growing up? Um, no, just fun. Like I just took like the positivity out of everything. Um, like the, the aviation job was really cool because you got to go like upside down. I was able to fly and that part was cool. And then dancing, like I said, it brought in some like really good funds, of course. And uh, you met some cool people and networking was, was great. I don't really have too many bad stories about it now. Now, what was the tr exact transition from those early jobs into uh, stripping exotic um, dancing? Let's see. I, well, I was on my own at the age of... 16 going on 17, me and my mother didn't get along at that time too well, and um, my, I had an older sister, and I was like, I need to pay this bill, I had, a, I got an apartment with the boyfriend, and um, so my sister was like, you're gorgeous, you got a nice rack, like, go do wet t-shirt contests, and I did, and I won, and it was 350 bucks, and I paid my rent, and I was like, this is too easy. <laughs> now. How long have you been dancing for? You don't dance anymore? I don't. Um, I dance when I'm booked. So hosting, I've, right now I'm doing a lot of hosting, and I love the stage. Like, I really do love the stage. And I, and just to clarify, I'd rather not go the stripper route. I'd rather say exotic dancer. That's I feel like I bring that um, that type of feel to it, opposed to, you know, where I come from, California, the dancers are um, very slow, seductive, and they literally strip. I go on the stage and hit the stage so hard and I'm dancing and having a good time. I'm actually a dancer. Nine times out of ten, I forget to take anything off. <laughs> so. Now, you say you're very selective yeah. with the dancing now, but how long were you seriously dancing? For? I was dancing since I was 18. I'm 27 now. I stopped at 26, so I got a few years under my belt. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, what led you to stop seriously dancing? You know, um, I saved up enough money. I made up. I made. I had some pretty good investments that are doing real well. And um, you know, met, um, met a guy, and it, we had a good bond. And it was like, hey, if you just focus on this, don't worry about this. And 
and it just it just kind of worked out. I, I did good. I own a house and I'm opening a bar and I throw dance workshops and gig after gig, I just don't need to be committed to the stage anymore. However, I still love it though. Yeah. So that's why you still continue to do it, but just right. very selectively. Very selectively. If I get booked a hosting job at a you know a strip club and they say, Rose, you want to go on stage? I mean, the answer is always going to be, hell yeah, I love the stage. Now, how did your family feel about your your dancing career? You know what? Um, I don't think I shocked anybody. My family was like, very supportive. I mean, everybody wishes that they didn't go that route, but you know, my grandma was like, if you're not hurting yourself and not hurting anybody else and you're not asking anybody for anything, you do what you want to do. And I, I kind of rock with that. And mom was cool. She, you know, she, um, she's a good looking lady and she, mom had like, has a gorgeous body. I mean, till this day. And she was kind of like, you know, do what, do what makes you feel good. And she kind of kept me in you know, V-necks, and she let me express myself, you know, the way that I wanted to. And my dad is a performer as well, so, and he was actually a dancer as well, which is a trip, and to this day, he um, he's involved in a band, and he performs. So performing and, and going on stage and using your sexuality was uh, nothing new in my family at all, so. Now, are you, I remember you saying when you were about 16, you were on your own, you yeah. had little rough relationship with your mother. How are you with your mother today? We're good, we're good. Um, we became um, real, real good um, after I had my daughter. And um, she's she's the big mama of all moms. My mom has seven kids. And so it really bonded us as um, I could see, you know, her perspective. And I think she can see mine. And, and at, that, at that time, I don't think that she was in the right um, state of mind. And I don't think, and bumping heads with a teenager, I think it's terrible. <laughs> it's a bad combination. Now, how did that relationship get patched up? Was it something you went to her and kind of tried to patch things up, or she came back to you? Or? Yeah, you know, um, she always raised us to be real family oriented. So even when me and her weren't talking, like I said, she has seven kids, and I have younger brothers, and so me, uh, my uh, younger brothers and I were always very attached. And so I would call them and, hey, I want to come over to your house. And she would still bring them over. And it wasn't a lot, of, a lot of talking at that point in time. But I think really what, like, hit home was um, when, when I got pregnant and I was like, I'm going to kind of let my family know. And they were really excited. So Now, when you did get pregnant, was that yeah. during your, your dancing career, serious dancing career? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I took about seven months off, and um, honestly, I, w I was blessed enough to um, snap back quickly. I only had to um, take off two weeks after having a baby. So, if uh, two, seven days, no, 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 a week in four days. And so I was able to jump back on. Actually, they liked me a little bit better because I was a little bit more juicy. Now I'm back to being petite. 